Hey guys, this is not a normal video from me, a normal format or anything. It originally started at tic on TikTok where I reacted to the Bridgerton Season 3 trailer. And then I did my thoughts video also on TikTok. So it will be in a vertical format just for um, full warning. And it's just basically moving what I had on TikTok onto here. So it's just like a little video on that. But yeah, um... I hope you guys love it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content from me. Um, I know I haven't been on YouTube as much lately, but um, yeah. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. And yeah, I am still over here nonstop thinking about that trailer and just waiting for season three already to come out. <laughs> and the break between part one and part two is going to literally drive me insane but yeah hope you guys enjoy oh my god oh my god uh, oh Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is he? The looks. His looks. Oh. Oh my god! Um, um, what? what? Oh my god, I'm crying. I thought this would be fun to do, get my, like, actual thoughts on the trailer and stuff. Because with my reaction video, all I did was scream, gasp, and cry. So here's my reactions to, or thoughts on parts of the trailer. Also, the preference, I have read Romancing Mr. Bridgerton ahead of time, and I know Nicola and Luke said that book fans will be happy this season, so I am interested to see what they incorporate from the book into this season. So first off, I want to talk about the amount of times Colin gives these looks to Penelope. Like, you can tell, like, he is fighting those feelings of, like, She's Penn, she's my friend, but wait, I actually love her kind of thing. So it's like interesting to see. And then him getting jealous over Lord Dabbling as well. That's going to be interesting to see this season because he's over here trying to help her find a husband. But then in the back of his mind, he's like, wait, I may be actually into her. So I'm just like over here curious and interested to see what's gonna happen with that and see how he's gonna um take that on and everything and how he's gonna like f 
figure out his feelings because there was a part of the trailer I'll show you here. You believe the best foundation for love is friendship. It is rare, but you must follow your heart. And see, with that, he's over here questioning and be like, she's my friend, but I'm feeling these things. Like, he's not fully saying it in that clip, but he's like, you can kind of get where he's getting at. Then, also, obviously, Eloise knows that Penelope is Lady Whistledown, so I'm curious now, which is knowing that, Eloise being friends with Cressida, like, how's that gonna go? Because in the book, obviously, I'm not gonna spoil for those who don't know the book, something happens in the book with um, Penelope and Cressida, so I'm kind of interested how that's gonna play out. Is Eloise gonna be a role into that or what? So I'm curious to see how that's gonna go. Also, back on the Colin and Penelope path, obviously, Colin, he is over here traveling, going to all of these places, and his siblings, like, when he comes back, they're like, Colin, you're back, kind of thing. And he's over here kissing this girl's hand. I don't think she'll have a major role this is. I think she's just, like, a girl on the side. Oh, her glove fell. Let me, like, give her a glove back and kiss her hand. Wah, 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 wah. Everything. Uh, rather than like Laura Debling, who will definitely have a role into their love story and everything, because he's part, of, he's like another love interest for Penelope. So, um, yeah, I'm interested to see how all this goes. Obviously, there's way more to unpack this season. Obviously, Francesca is debuting into the marriage mart and as well, and then that little scene with. Violet Ridgerton, and then I actually watched the cast a little live earlier, and then Lady Danbury uh, is supposed to have someone from our past come in as well to the story. Um, yeah, I, I'm just curious to see how this all goes, and I just want May 16th and June 13th to get here already, because I am impatient, and have I watched this trailer, like, 10 times already and it came out not even an hour ago yes but i need to absorb it all and prepare myself for this because i ever since season one i have been a big fan of colin and a big fan of penelope so now seeing their love story unfold it just makes me so happy and i'm so excited to watch it all so curious to see what's gonna happen but yeah um Thank you for listening to my little talk about this and everything. Give me a follow if you if you never followed me before. Um, and yeah, thank you so for watching. Like this video.